Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. I want to talk about Lakin Riley and the president's apology for using the term illegal immigrant. Now, I know this is all over the place. A lot of popular people are talking about this. The news is talking about this. Um, I have a little bit of a different take on this whole thing and uh, some questions that I would like to ask because I am suddenly left feeling like a large portion of our population here in the United States are basically Manchurian candidates. You'll have to excuse me, my coordination with moving this uh, this arm thing, not not my arm, but the arm that's holding up the microphone, and I've probably got coffee on my lip. I'm a little bit under the weather, so bear with me here. As I mentioned, Manchurian candidates. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it'd be like someone who's programmed so that uh, you can say some kind of like trigger word, and then they, they come to life and they start doing things that uh, involuntarily. It'd be like, oh, the spy agency, whatever one it happens to be, KGB, they don't exist anymore, even though they do as FSB, the CIA, whatever the heck. They've, they've taken somebody and they've used some kind of weird mind control experiments on them. And so that uh, when they hear a, a trigger word or something like that, then they jump to life and assassinate somebody or whatever it is, you know. I feel like that with a large portion of our population, especially when I hear about this uh, this outrage over the use of the word illegal. Because like I said, the people who are coming across the border illegally, they know what they're doing. They know what they are. And they're not offended by that. They're, in fact, they, they probably just hope that nobody notices, you know. Um, and that is if they even know English to know what that means. So who is it that's being so offended? Who is it that finds this so offensive? And I'll, I'll tell you, it's people that you wouldn't think would ever have reason to be offended by this. In fact, they probably wouldn't be if they weren't told to be offended by that. And if you are someone who is offended by the use of the word or the term illegal immigrant or illegal alien, really stop to think about where your offense to that came from and why. Because it's probably not from you. I really get the feeling that there are people on the Internet who hear this and they're told, you know, like the, Joe Biden comes out and apologizes, says, oh, I didn't mean to offend all these people, you know, and uh, they hear that and then they become offended. Like, oh, that's supposed to be offensive. So they become offended by it. How did we become like that? I mean, really think about that. And it's not just I mean, I, I want to make this clear. It's not just one side. You know, right now we're talking about the people probably on the left, if you want to call it that, who become offended by the use of the term illegal. But there are things on the other side as well that people get all bent out of shape on. It doesn't even have to be offense. It just has to be whatever issue, you know. They get uh, triggered into this and they just become upset about it. And it's really bizarre to me to, to look at that. It's like people don't think for themselves. Just a bunch of Manchurian candidates. Think about uh, if you get on, don't get on, don't get on. <laughs> Maybe you can, I, I don't know. I keep t telling myself, oh, Elon Musk has got it under control and he's changing it into something else. And, you know, I'll post videos and stuff there. Sorry, I'm adjusting this microphone. And it just, it remains the same. I see all the fake trending stuff. That's not on Elon Musk or anybody like that. But somehow the uh, the bot people who inhabit the social media world, they still have control over that. They can get weird things to trend that don't make any sense and get all the people that are, you know, the Manchurian candidate types to, you know, and I'm sorry if you're one of those people that get upset about things online. Um, they can get something to trend and trigger them into, you know, outrage. And it leads to crazy stuff like the people lately that we've been hearing about doing terrible things. You can put whatever you want into that slot. But, you know, people get driven insane by what they hear on social media. And they very much are like a Manchurian candidate, you know. They tell them what to be offended by. And then they become incredibly offended by it. And it's like it's dialed up to 11. And they go and do something horrifying. 
And then the uh, the bad actors in the government or whatever can take advantage of the situation and uh, say, oh, well, we need to pass such and such law to deal with this problem. And, you know, I'm not saying that they're outright uh, programming people, but they know what they're doing. They know how to drive people toward doing things that they, sh they probably wouldn't normally do. And I don't know if they want them to do really, really horrible things, but certainly they can they enjoy getting people upset so that it seems as though whatever their crazy ideas are, they have a lot of support for it. And uh, as I said, it's not just one side. This is happening all around. You get the people talking about secession on the right, and there you go. There's uh, somebody trying to manipulate you to get you to think a certain way, and don't, please don't get upset. Just stop and think about that for a moment. I had a comment on uh, the last video that I did talking about how each of the states is basically a sovereign nation, with open borders. It was in, I'm not sure if it was meaning that uh, we shouldn't be upset about the open borders to the South. My, my response to that, if you're the one that uh, left the comment is, you know, well, the other countries outside of the United States, even if you want to look at it that way, which most Americans don't see the United States as a bunch of separate nations, we, we see it as the United States and each state, even though it has that title is actually more like a province in a, another country. Well, we, we, you know, even if you uh, disregard that, and you, you still look at it as sovereign nations all held together in some kind of a confederation of sorts under the Constitution or whatever. Well, the other countries outside of the United States, they're not part of that arrangement. So Mexico and everywhere else where people are coming from, they're not part of that. So the open borders, they only extend so far. Um, I would say maybe uh, maybe if they would like to become part of that, maybe we should create like a, a framework or an apparatus whereby other countries can say, hey, we would like to apply to become part of the union. Um, I, I feel like that might uh, worry a lot of people in the world, the people that are in charge of those governments. So it's probably not a very good idea, although it'd be an interesting one. You know, how many people would say, yes, <laughs> we want to become part of the United States and um, and whatever chaos is happening in our country, um, hopefully it wouldn't bring it to us. That's where the apparatus would come in, right? The framework you'd have. OK, you have to, you know, check all these boxes and then you may proceed to the next level, next stage, whatever you want to call it, to become Super Saiyan. Which, by the way, Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, I heard that he died over the last couple of weeks here. Uh, something I kind of grew up with, you know, Dragon Ball. Uh, but that's beside the point. So there's all this, this manufactured anger and hate and offense on the Internet. I would encourage everyone who, when, when you do see these things on the Internet, think about that for just a moment. Who is it that, you know, am I really offended by this? Do I really care? what these people are saying, or is that what I what they want me to do? Do they want me to get upset? Do they want me to be angry and start posting stuff on here? Is that what it's about? Even when it's, you're, you know, you see something from the other side and you're like, oh my gosh, you idiot, and they, you start, you know, posting stuff on Twitter or X or whatever. Think about that for just a moment and wonder to yourself, is that, is that really from me? Is that how I would talk to someone else if I was, you know, just on the street? Typically, you wouldn't, you know? Or is that something that someone else wants me to do? Is somebody playing games with me? Because I think you'll find that uh, in many cases in this day and age, someone is manipulating you to get you to think a certain way. Um, when it comes to the wars and stuff, I really don't, you know, it's such a confused world that I don't even know uh, what this, the, you know, there's people saying that uh, we, we should definitely be involved and, you know, oh my gosh, Russia's trying to take over the world. There are people that, that are saying, you know, China's the biggest threat in the world. We talked about that in the last video, that uh, the whole thing with China and fentanyl, you know, you hear it over and over again, like, oh my gosh, the, the fentanyl is flooding into the country. And uh, it's China that's responsible because they create the uh, the precursors. Well, China makes a lot of stuff, you know. And somebody was telling me to to look into the history of it. But believe me, I'm I'm well 
familiarized with the history, the recent history of China anyway. I, I lived there. But, you know, they make all these precursors. And even if they are selling it at cost or whatever, who are they selling it to? They're, they're not sending it to the United States to manufacture fentanyl and stuff. They're sending it to the drug cartels. And the drug cartels are making the drugs and sending the drugs into our country and selling the drugs in our country and killing people and uh, possibly operating in much of the Southwest and other places within our country. And nobody is saying a word about it. You know, how f China is all the way on the other side of the world. They're not there on our border. They're not operating inside our own country. I mean, sure, there, there are people talking about, oh, there's Chinese immigrants coming to grow pot in the, uh, the Northeast somehow okay um are they are they killing people are they what are they doing so they're they're growing pot that's not fentanyl um and I, I'm, I'm not trying to excuse china here i'm just saying it's like we're, we're ignoring the most important piece here you know if we got rid of the uh, the problem here the people that china is selling the chemicals to we probably wouldn't have so much drugs i don't think that china is going to outright produce drugs and send them into the country in the you know as large of amounts as what these drug cartels are doing and um that's a little scary to talk about because you really have to think like why why is nobody talking about this but they uh, they try to get you upset with china and ignore the actual problem um, it's just bizarre the things that they they're the ways that they're manipulating people. I don't know if it's because the drug cartels have money and they're they're bribing people or what, but uh, it's really bizarre to me to see that. And think about that, you know, the next time you see something that you're supposed to be offended by that a politician does or says or something that you see on the internet, stop and think for a moment. Is this really something that I would be that offended by? Or that I would even care, even if it is something that bothers me. Would you really care that much? Or is that something that someone else wants you to do? Yeah, anyway, I uh, I better get this out and uploaded before something like what happened last time. I had a video all ready to go on Sunday. I'll probably upload it uh, later after this one. Or maybe before. It's already uploaded now. I just don't have a thumbnail and stuff for it. But, you know, the power went out. The power, it's ridiculous. The wind is blowing. Apparently a tree fell on a power line and knocked it out. So the video didn't get uh, uploaded in time. Which means it'll, it'll totally goof up my channel with the algorithm, I'm sure. You know, I'll never get any more views because I missed it. <laughs> because the tree fell on the power line. I don't know. Is that what's going to happen? Do you guys miss these videos when they don't show up? I don't know. Maybe some people do. Maybe they don't. But uh, in either case, I, I have it prepared now, uh, later, after the fact. And I, I will upload it as well. I better end this. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> จำรักจากไปไกลตา